Of recent, the data analysis space and the data science space have been actually getting a whole lot of attention because this is actually a field that you can actually be earning close to hundred thousand dollars in a year. So people are coming from various fields as non-mathematical fields like law, social sciences, just to get into the data science and the data analysis space. So this video is going to be like a roadmap, a guide to make you become the data analyst that you actually want to be in order to you know have that hundred thousand dollars yearly payment. I will also give you the resources, the link to the resources and these resources are going to be mainly YouTube videos. So the first step I usually advise people to actually try to work on is going to be to learn the mathematics and the statistics. For you to be able to be a good data analyst, you need to know the mathematics and then the mathematics include uh, the basic arithmetic, then the statistics includes you knowing uh, descriptive statistics and uh, probability, you know, talking about uh, data visualization. Statistical inference is also needed. We're talking about things like hypothesis testing and then we move down to linear regression and multiple regression and so much more and to learn the required mathematics i would advise you actually uh, go to my channel so i have a youtube channel which is this channel where i actually teach statistics properly i actually shoot my videos in bits so that you can actually learn one step at a time so if if it's something you would like to check out so just click on the subscribe button you know and check out my videos the next step which is step two is to actually learn excel microsoft excel is actually a spreadsheet that was actually invented by Microsoft. Excel can be used for data management, it can be used for data analysis, it can be used for data cleaning and it can be used for statistical analysis. Excel has a lot of things embedded inside it including lots of formulas and lots of functions. So basically as a data analyst you're actually interested in three properties of Excel and that is uh, the data cleaning. Uh, Excel can actually help you to clean your data set. You can use the trim function, the text and replay, the duplicate, the conditional formatting and so much more to actually clean your data set and make it get ready for proper either statistical or data analysis then excel also have a wide range of data visualization tools i'm talking about things like bar chart pie chart histogram you know box plots to help you visualize your data set and after that if you go to the statistic analysis part of excel it has a wide range of statistical tools which actually have this good number of statistical uh, tests that it can perform you know we have things like the c test the t test the ANOVA, the one we ANOVA, the two we ANOVA, just to mention a few. So I see Excel as this tool that can actually do a whole lot of things. I actually advise my friends to actually learn Excel because it makes it easier for you to transit into uh, specific tools for data analysis. Take for example, Excel can actually uh, do data visualization. And if you are very good with visualizing your data with Excel, it will be easy for you to transit into uh, specific tools for data viz like uh, Power BI or Tableau. So for you to learn Excel, the needed resources is actually uh, a video course. You know, uh, there is this playlist by Alex. He's actually one of the very competent and very good content creator and data analyst here on the internet. He has a very good playlist regarding Excel, you know, Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to be linking the playlist down in my uh, in the description of this video, so you can just go. Uh, check that out is actually very good and shout out to Alex by the way for helping the data community after learning Excel the next tool you have to learn is what we call SQL and SQL simply means structured query language and SQL is basically this query language that is used to retrieve and store information in relational database SQL was actually invented in the 1970s and it was initially called SQL that is S E Q E L which actually means uh, the structured English query language and the reason we have English right there is because most of the statements in SQL are actually based on basic simple uh, English words. So SQL actually use the statements to actually retrieve, to store, to update and to also optimize uh, any database you have. So basically SQL actually worked very well with a lot of applications. Uh, SQL actually worked very well with Java programming languages in such a way that it allows the programmers to be able to build uh, data processing applications very well so to learn sql i would recommend that videos from chando chando is also one of those very good data analysts here on youtube and there is actually this course compiled by free code camp shout out to free code camp and chando i would be linking these videos in my description so you can just go check that out so after learning sql the next uh, tool you should learn is actually uh, the visualization tools and this is where uh, data visualization comes inside and when it comes to data visualization we have 
two powerful tools uh, that are being used by the data community and that is either Power BI or the Tableau. So let's start with Power BI. So basically Power BI is actually a data visualization tool that was created by Microsoft. So since it was created by Microsoft, it means it works perfectly fine with uh, you know tools like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and stuff like that. It is actually a business intelligence tools and it has a wide range of data visualization tools that can help you you know visually represent your data set colorfully it can also do advanced stuff like analyzing your data set just to mention a few tableau is not really that different from power bi too, in the sense that they are both uh, business intelligence applications and they are basically used to just visualize data set so just like power bi your tableau actually also uh, is basically used to like visualize your data set it has a wide range of tools to choose from both of them can actually uh, access data from spreadsheets uh, csv uh, the cloud database just to mention a few basically these two guys are literally like the same thing they do the same thing they visualize your data set they both create interactive dashboards to tell a story about your data set so the usage of each of this tool or any of this tool all boils down to how much you are going to be paying per month or per year to subscribe to each of them uh how easy it is for you to like you know use each of them and the bonus point right here is going to be for you to learn uh r and python these are just uh add-on straight uh programming language in tools you know i don't really tell beginners to learn r and python i feel like once you've learned uh excel sql and power bi or tableau and you are very good at it and then you now want to like up your game you want to be like a better person in the game so you can actually now learn r or python or r and python just to like up your skill after following these steps you need to now start getting data sets and working not only do you do that you also get into communities because uh, data science or data analysis is best learned when we have people around us thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one so bye for now